The next time you reach for your favorite Devil's Backbone Brew, it may look a little different. Yeah, that's because Devil's Backbone Brewing Company is unveiling some changes to their logo and packaging design. And joining us to talk more, we have Hayes Humphreys. Thank you so much for coming on. Hi, good to be here. Mm -hmm. This is so cool. So first, tell us about Devil's Backbone Brewing Company. Yeah, so we are unbelievably celebrating our 10th anniversary as Virginia's oh, favorite craft brewery this year. Yeah, yeah. and um, we wanted to celebrate by kind of refreshing things and evolving things and make everything... Uh, look a little bit different and better on the shelf. Yeah, I have yeah. to say your place is hopping. We were up there a few weekends ago and we went to have lunch there awesome. and, and it was a, it was a wait. So you guys are doing great. But let's talk about the logo. You changed a little bit of the logo? Yeah, we just kind of cleaned it up. We refreshed a little bit. We really wanted it to be a little more eye-catching from across the store so that when people walk in, they they can see it and find it and come grab it off the shelf. Yeah, okay. this packaging so is beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. It's, yeah. It looks like it's hand painted on there. Mm -hmm. So what was the inspiration for this? Yeah, well, you know, we're lucky enough to live in, um, you know, a tourist destination, one of the most beautiful parts of the world. Mm -hmm. and. We were really inspired by kind of those old timey travel posters that that got people to, to come out and, and, yeah. and come visit a place. And so we wanted to capture some of that in here. So we got we worked with some local artists and a local agency in Charlottesville called OK Yellow. And um, we got them to hand draw these just beautiful images from sort of around the area that we live, kind of inspired by the slow lifestyle that we have and, and just all the natural beauty around us. Wow, it's really pretty. Yeah, talk about some of the features that the new packaging has. Yeah, so we wanted to make it look really different on the shelf, so we actually changed the whole structure of the six pack, so you can see it's got a nice little die cut here in the front. Yeah. And that's actually the, the view, if you stand when you were up at our, our pub a couple weeks ago, if you mm -hmm. stand there and look out at the mountains, yeah. that's the silhouette that you see, so it's totally authentic. Um, to us. Um, and then beyond that, we really wanted, you know, to capture there's just so much beautiful light and the mountains and the leaves change and there's just so many colors mm -hmm. here in Central Virginia. And yeah. so we wanted to make sure we got all that on there and um, we we're just really inspired by by everything we see around us. Are you changing the flavors at all? <laughs> we're, not, we're not changing the flavors. No, <laughs> right. it's the, the favorite the beer old. you've always had. So yeah. Vienna Lager is our best selling beer. Yeah. Um, it's one of Virginia's favorite craft beers. Um, and then we also brought Gold Leaf today, which is uh, one of the fastest growing beer styles in craft. So people are really um, moving towards kind of lighter, more sessionable, easier to drink, better for you beers. Um, and so we, we so wanted to make sure leaf, that we... So the Gold Leaf, is that a lighter than, lighter than the... So the color's a little bit lighter. Um, uh -huh. The alcohol content's a little bit lighter as well. Mm -hmm. um, so... Uh, yeah, on both counts, a little bit lighter, and it's going to be a little bit lower in calories. All the, the Devil's Backbone beers um, tend to be a little bit more sessionable, yeah. um, a little bit low, lower cal. Awesome. This is so cool. So mm -hmm. people can come out and, and visit you all. What can they expect? Because Natalie went out there. Yeah. It's like a destination there, yeah, if isn't you've, it? Yeah, if you've never been to see us, we've got two locations, one in Nelson County, which mm -hmm. is our original location, and we're really working on building the Disneyland of beer out there. We have, you know, outdoor bars, beer gardens, um, you know, a big brew pub. We have a distillery. We have a, a cigar and whiskey shack. There's all kinds of activities for all kinds of different people. Um, and then right up the road in Lexington is our production brewery. That's where we actually make a lot of this beer. Um, and we just opened a brand new uh, full service restaurant there too. So if you haven't been recently, come mm -hmm. up and you can grab some lunch there or some dinner there and hang out. Um, and if you're looking for an excuse to come, we are actually throwing ourselves a birthday party on November 18th okay. um, at both locations. So uh -huh. you, can, you can come hang out with us. We'll have um, games, specials. We brewed a special beer to, to celebrate the day. Uh -huh. um, so there's a lot of exciting stuff going on that on the 18th fun. of November. I love it. Okay, so what's the website if I want more information? You want to come to our website, it's going to be www.dbbrewingcompany.com. And you can find us on Facebook and Instagram and all those good places. Thank you so much. Yeah, thanks uh, for having me.